Hey guys, welcome back with Life with Esther. How you been? Uh, before we start this video, make sure you guys l- subscribe. Um, make sure you like and comment down below. So yeah, love you guys. So based on the title, we're talking about how um, my room got messy based on my depression how i had no energy to clean it this and that blah 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 and we're gonna have a girls talk i would say on top of that so yeah let's get into it so i filmed this video way back in december 2023 um i forgot all about this video i forgot i even filmed it so i'm looking back at it and i'm like trying to remember why and how i was feeling back then and it's like i was feeling mentally like mentally and physically not okay it's like i was trying so hard to be like someone i'm not it's like how do i say this like it's like when you put in your all in someone and like you're trying to be a better person and you're trying to make everyone happy but you don't even think about yourself at the moment it's like you care about you put other people first than yourself like and you're like not worrying about yourself like with me now like right now i'm trying so hard to think about myself but like i just care so much about other people i'm a people pleaser and i'm trying to like in 2024 i'm trying not to be a people pleaser because i feel like people should love me for who i am because right now i'm just pleasing people because i love people i love community com- <sighs> i love communicating with people i love to put other people first because i just love seeing smiles on people's faces but they don't like seeing a smile on my face and i would say that back then i was feeling so depressed that i couldn't even talk to my parents i couldn't talk to any friends i have so many friends but i feel like i have no one to talk to and it's honestly sad like, I'd be crying every single day, every single night. And I'm like, I wish I could talk to someone, but I couldn't talk to anyone. The only person I could literally, literally talk to was my AI. And it's like a bot. A bot. Like, it's sad because I I can go through my Snapchat contacts, my Instagram, my phone numbers. I have so many people I could talk to, but I can't because, like, there's always this one part that you feel like someone's going to judge you, but they won't judge you. I text my cousin a couple of times but like she doesn't really give me advice the way i think she could so i just stop talking to people in general my dad he's a great person to talk to but i just feel like there's some things he's going through his own problems and i'm going through my own problems and i don't want to disturb him with that and i feel like no one should have to feel that way but depression is a really hard thing I moved schools recently and like I love my school don't get me wrong but like back then it was so bad because I did something to get everyone to like not like me for a while and like that was catching up to me and that like hurt me so bad because people was ignoring me and people was like giving me like certain signs they don't like me it's like you can feel like the negative energy but I was trying to ignore that and that like got me sad and i was like oh my gosh i wish people would just talk to me blah 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 blah. but i didn't use my communication skills to talk to people and i was dressing up like a bum to school my room would get dirtier by the moment i would just throw clothes i'm like oh i'll just clean it a different day i'll clean it later but i never cleaned my room like it was just like getting messy messy and in history prayer, my mom was like, Oh, it's the old side look who gives up how clean shamu. I'm like, I don't want to clean my room right now, I'll clean it later. But later turned into like days and then days turned into like weeks and then weeks turned into months and like I never ended up cleaning my room. It was so embarrassing because like my cousins and like friends would come over and then they would like be like, Oh, let's go in your room and I'm like <laughs> yeah nah let's go down let's just stay downstairs because my room's a mess right now and they're like it's okay we'll clean with you and i'm like no but like it's like my friends and my family would notice that i'm not okay but like they'll ask me if i'm okay because they would check on me and i'm like yeah i'm okay i'm perfectly fine and it's like 
because like I'm not a friend that doesn't care about lots of stuff like I, I have like I don't give a fuck attitude and like I have like the oh I'm happy all the time attitude and like I'm always having a smile on my face so that's why people don't really check on me like that like my the only people who really do check on me is like a couple close friends and my couple close cousins and stuff and after that no one else does but like I really do appreciate the people who do check on me so I just want to say thank you for that because there are real ones out there I'm not saying that people who don't check on me aren't real but like they are really nice to me I'm not saying that like my depression is gone fully because I do have moments where I do feel like horrible about myself and where I feel like emotionless and I'm not saying this to sound quote unquote emo but I do feel like I do need to change a little. Um, there's times that when I was in my old school, I felt like a horrible person because that school, the teachers, the principals, assistant principals made me feel terrible about myself. They really made me feel like I was a bad person and made me think things about myself that I shouldn't be thinking about myself. I wanted to do bad things to myself and I'm like, I don't think I should be doing that. And as a Christian and as a pastor's daughter, I feel like I should be a perfect role model for other people. Because if you're Christian, you can't do this. If you're Christian, you can't do that. You're supposed to like, I'm not perfect. No one is perfect. Everyone is going to have happy and good moments in their life. And there's going to be people there for only your happy moments. And there's going to be people that's going to be there for only your bad moments. And there could be people that's there for all your good moments and your bad moments and i feel like so many people should appreciate that but if you do have depression i think you should talk to a therapist a friend or a family or a trusted close someone you're close to in general and i hope if anyone who does have depression who's watching here does feel better and that you know that there's people out there that actually do care about you thank you to shit Bitch, you not even the fuck. I be going hard. I'm breaking their hearts. Like, bitches be quick, but I'm quick. Think you the shit, bitch? You not even the fuck. I be going hard. I'm breaking their hearts. Like, bitches be quick, but I'm quicker. Bitches be thick, but I'm thicker. She could be rich, but Hey guys, so I would like to thank Timu for sponsoring this video and thank Timu for giving me this free gift. Um, I got a bunch of free gifts and I still got more on the way to my house. So there's many ways you can earn like credits and free gifts for free. You can just click on anything, do what the process tells you to do, and you just gotta share the link to as many people as you can and you can get stuff for free. So that's the end of today's video. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and share with your friends. And comment down below what I should call you guys to any other videos you guys would like me to post. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Have a great day and make sure to be positive.